hello and welcome to day eight i'm not quite sure after recording and what ended up being 40 minutes of meditation monday whether i should record a separate video for day eight but i wanted to anyway um and see if it was different <laughs> it went off at a weird tangent but i'm gonna i'm still in that state i'm still not quite grounded and um still kind of digesting all of that energy that just flowed so I'm just gonna start today so if you want to listen and put headphones in if you want to lay down um, and just let the sound roll over you I'd like you to just focus on your breathing and your breath um, as I just did with meditation money I'm gonna maybe bring in some of me as well from what are the images that are flowing to me and what's being shown to me what I'm getting in the instant of how the sound is affecting me and um, with a little bit of visualization if you understand things on a visual level and obviously the sound will affect you on the the, that, the audio level and through the body I want you to just deep breathing in through the nose out through the mouth breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth and just keep that steady breath and flow throughout if you can the mind will do what the mind needs to do your emotions will do what your emotion needs to do just allow and i'm going to set this as a, a a sacred space today as well for healing for those that are viewing um good day namaha om good day namaha opening a container and a circle for those to heal in tira nai sikira nana tira nai antaila u shura nana kiara nana nai o you to visualize a ball of light in your heart and in fact it's a, like a room visualize a room and you're sitting in this room this room is you projecting yourself into your heart chamber in drama la tia ne a tu ne a te alio di a tores e mani a tu le a tia la 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 e non le a nani o scura la ne a ia nai o ne a di a ne mi stira ne a nu le a ne nai I call forth in my heart those aspects of myself that resonate for my higher evolution of my soul and for those that are viewing in tita da na na tai I visualize a room where we can commune and connect in this moment in time. Outside of time and space, I connect and go through the doorway of my heart. Through the frequency of my soul, I resonate, I hold, I ground, I anchor in the codes of my 
higher self, my light, the highest perspective trajectory of the oscillation of my frequency. I feel this in my body, in this now. I could, in this body, I embody this aspect of myself and allow myself to express through this Feel the sound vibrate in your heart. Hum along, Indian Express. I invite you to hum with your own sounds. To tone, the expression of your soul. To paint, to move the body. And to whatever feels resonates with you. え、とらららきあやや、とらきあらやんなななや。え、こららららしゃ、え、しゃなな。え、さななてとだなてたなななやとでねらやんなななやったでねやったでねやったでねやったでねやったでねやったでねやったでねやったでねやったでねやったで
I seen today and today I kill and I get done and I got today and I'm gonna get this done and do it. Yeah, I'm gonna kill and I get done and I'm gonna get done and I got that today. And today, today I get done and I get done and I just because you're releasing and the energy of that lifetime is dissolving and maybe disappearing, it's not an ending to that soul experience. And I tell all it is. All that is and all that ever was is still in being. Andranashkia is shifting, it's transmuting, it's evolving. Andirashka, that which you have called, um, really? <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, I don't want to say that. Andirashka, that which you have called the God, the Goddess, and the Divine. Ishunena is more than that which you perceive it to be. Esuna, we all know that, I think, anyway. Esuri but there are many who are holding rigid and firm. Anti Tairadishka, so they are still trapped. in the fourth dimension. Anti, because of those beliefs, that's dissolving. It's not a forcing, um, but it's important to know it's a shifting, a changing. And that's why there's a fear. For that which has been comfortable, that which has been um, kept familiar. And in a certain sense, it's that family of selves, of, of thought forms that we've been working with for millennia. And here on not just this planet and um, or this lifetime. But this is a beautiful time. And it is is a beginning. And you no need to be afraid. Let go, shake it out. And uh, all those things that I talk about, um, the yeah, process is to help the physical aspect shift from that. We are here to shift. And I am here to shift my soul's evolution and for those that are wanting to the, the same that resonate that f with the frequency of change and that want the new that want to evolve beyond that which has been before and not all agree but that doesn't mean that we need to agree and for the change to still happen on different levels in different conscious being awareness and here I think I need to get up and then I just tell me to get in and just call and I got it in for any time that I got it and I'm not in you know I'm in and I'm not in you should got it on that but your brains are shifting and do that I am not in you and do that I am and do that I am you know that I got school that I should carry a quarter and I got it on a day of the other than I don't know this soul's evolution and here are for those that guard the, the time, like I resonate with, um, it's an awareness of every line of that, but always holding to the possible highest line. That doesn't mean that those other lines aren't there for others to walk, but for you, if you're listening in this now moment, your path is to walk on this higher perspective, timeline, vision, evolutionary, um, stance to, to hold the frequency of your heart and love and um, we like magnify it that's what the lot the meditation that we just did the gold it acts like a um, it, that in reinforcing of us as a power station to have that energy flow through us at a higher oscillation and tira to admit that in tira and to send that out in tira where it needs to go like a um like in 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 but we're all capable of that um there's just many of us that are aware and we can do this because we are here specifically to bridge and bridging beliefs and in bridging the energies bridging shifts 
and two Thailand Akina. However, a Thailandera, that too is a bridging belief and Thailandera to evolve us to the point where we can be in this state. And Thailandera, however you build the steps and then the steps can fall away and you realize you can walk without them. And Thailandera, like training wheels. <laughs> I've seen a little bike, yeah, like tricycle. Is the image that I'm getting in my head? This is really strange because normally, can I talk? Can I talk? Um, normally, I get images. The sound is starting to flow quite easily now, um, and I do have a certain understanding. But they will stop me if I get my own perspective in the way. And I say they will. It's not a they. It is a me. It is a you. It is the universe speaking through my heart resonance with the feminine and masculine aspects of my soul at its highest perspective. Uh, the creative frequency of myself. Here on earth, the earth. There's some aspects that are in other places um, just like your soul has that too some of you are ready to call and meet and commune in this space others in your own time divine timing but time is irrelevant because time doesn't exist outside of this space that's only a perception there is shifts happening within ourselves and here and within the sun that are activating us right now and it's open for you to feel to be in communion with and beyond your religions and your concepts and stuff just feel make the music of your souls as they dance together like um, um, sound the joy through each moment in your day and in everything you do and allow it to be um, your process and it doesn't mean my body is in perfect harmony. It doesn't mean my mind or my emotions are either. It, it's not perfection. It's imperfect perfection. And as you do so, you will feel the shifts of where, where those shifting needs to happen within you, within your body, within your mind, within your own thoughts and perspectives. And just allow, be open and receptive to the good, um, to the joy, to the love that's present, and to the to the your own compassion for each other. This is really important with what's happening in the world. Like the mother, that's why the gold and anasha, as the silver um, is flowing down to, it grounds us into action of how we can utilize this compassion and to learn through um through action uh, inspired action in turania tanarasita nanakalaya love and my blessings and to taila in this powerful now moment and to kinara from my future from my past and we entwined through love and to lanania through the truth of my sound, my frequency, I Leonaneta, thank you. And Tunanina Yadura appreciate on the landurai esanaya dura niaya naniaya turaya. Okay, this is from me as well because I feel the relevance to this of what I've been doing and I f please forgive me for the disharmony of past, present, futures 
and do that that were not in a line with this and do that i am sorry please forgive me i love you i appreciate all aspects of self all aspects of soul like the hanapanapoa um hawaiian prayer that i share and you're calling in all of those sides that we do not want to face and to taidana kiana the shadow the shadow and is just distortion of light we are all distortion of light on some level and allow still your frequency your resonance to discern your truth through your reality love and blessings thank you well <laughs> i feel a little light-headed i do that i felt like i had a plethora of of beautiful energy around me then that was really lovely and it, it's still present in my heart they sort of saying the door is open now in the heart you don't need to close it it's there whenever you want to connect to it um because we're outside of time it's only you that like in the now moment in like oh in a few weeks time i want to go there that would still be this moment a second from now if you like, like that kind of to give you a concept of that so love and blessings for your now moments to remind you as we all know the kingdom of heaven which i feel like i just went to is within us um, and the concept of that is purely a concept that's the construction of how we view it is individual it doesn't matter i'm not saying you to stop believing in whatever you believe in um by all means i'm just saying to discern from heart what is true for you was what the message was coming through um so but hopefully outside of that because that was probably because i was in a state of asking earlier um feel the color gold around the mouth i was saying about in meditation monday as in speaking the nurturing words and the energy of love and compassion when we speak so if we have the fiery red anger allow it to go through the filter of gold of a mother's love and compassion so love and blessings i will see you tomorrow this has been i feel like i'm learning in each session and also just remembering that which i already know and not saying anything that i haven't heard before but i'm definitely feeling the shifts in me in my way of I feel more settled, more anchored, more grounded. My body definitely feels when it's out of alignment with something that's not right with my own value of what I want for my reality. So food, for example. And um, my partner joked about, he said, like, but you're always here. I said, if I have things that I've said that is not in alignment with my body anymore. So blessings. I will see you tomorrow.